Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Alpha brand, their 1500 watt power inverter. This will convert DC, which I'm implying right here, to 110 volts AC and should produce a pure sine wave. We're going to test it on the oscilloscope. It has AC outlets on it, two of them, and two USB ports at 2.2 amps each. This company provides a full five year or 60 month warranty on this product, which is really unheard of in this industry. So pure sine wave is not easy to create. It's pretty easy to create an inverter, but to actually get a pure sine wave is very difficult. It requires additional electronic circuitry and feedback to convert the 12 volts in to that 110 volts pure output. Now this uh, circuitry inside here has under voltage, over voltage protection, over temperature protection, over load protection. There's also cooling fans on the side right here, two little mini PZ fans. Now first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to be powering this up just to demonstrate and this is not the way you would use this. The cables that you would need, you could tell, look at the size of these terminals on here. You would need two gauge cables. I'm going to show a slide of what you're going to be using. And you're going to be putting those to your lithium ion or your lead acid 12 volt batteries. Because this current right here, when you're under a maximum load of 1500 watts, is over 125 amps. So the cables have to be really thick. So for demonstration purposes, I've got thin cables on there. We're going to show you the whole operation of this. And if you look over here on the front, I have the unit turned on. And it's got a really nice display. I really like this. You got indicator right there, power green. You have the two USB A ports there. And you got this nice display. 12.6 is my input voltage. And that is the output voltage, 110. There's no load, there's no current right there. There's the two grounded um, AC 110 volt ports on there. And there's your power switch. You can just turn it on and off just like that. And it comes back on. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to just show you a simple demonstration right here. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can use those USB ports first of all. So I'm going to plug in a USB-A cable and I'm going to uh, just demonstrate and charge something right here. So right there you see that this is charging this work light. And you could charge two devices at the same time. I'm going to plug something in right here. And I hear the fans kick on. They increase their airflow to compensate. But you see that big bright light that came on because I plug in a very large bright LED light. It's about 50, 50 watts or so. It's, uh, 40 watts. And... Uh, kind of uh, hard for me to see with that on so bright but that's the basic operation DC in AC out and again it's not much current because it would be showing me the current right there it has to be probably above a hundred watts uh, and then it would start showing up on that display I like the way they made this the blue color it's really nice so let's look at some of the basic warnings on here we got 12.6 volts Let's keep increasing this. Fourteen. And there it's warning me. And actually you start shutting down the voltage because it's trying to protect your devices. So you see how that voltage dropped down and you have an audible alarm and then it went to the red mode right there. So that's too high of a voltage. If your battery's got that high, there's something wrong with your batteries. Now let's drop this back down to a more normal rate. There's 12.5 right there. Now let's decrease this. So here your batteries on your input are dropping. They're getting sulfated or something's wrong with them. Or your lithium ion batteries have a defect. And they keep getting lower and lower. And there it goes. Starts warning you that the voltage is too low and 
the voltage drops down here to protect your device. It's too low and the alarm comes on. So that's your basic safety operation that allows you to be warned if you have problems with your input. And again, these are thin cables. You're going to be using two gauge cables to your 12 volt power supply. I can hear that the fan in the back is dynamically changing. It's allowing the unit to vary the amount of airflow depending on the demand, which is nice. So here's my experiment to show you that this is a real pure sine wave out. So I have the unit on. I have that light load on. I got the 12 volts or 14 volts coming in. This is going to the light and this is going to my oscilloscope. The hot and neutral is going right in to a probe. This is a divide by 10 probe so that I can look at it on my screen right here. And you can see it's an absolutely beautiful sine wave under load. So that's what you're paying for. That is what's unique. So if I were to look at the AC coming into my house, it should look that clean. This is probably cleaner than what's coming in from ComEd. But there you go. That shows that this is a pure sine wave. So hope this helps you with your questions about this product. It seems to be really nicely built. The safety features on there, the pure sine wave, the nice display. Really like this product. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.